Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to solve a system of three nilay equations by adjoint method. But not only that, you will learn how to find inverse of a matrix, how to find adjoint of a matrix, how to find transpose of a matrix and a secret trick at the end of the video. So let's start. So this is our system of three nilay equations. We have to solve it by adjoint method. So first we will write the coefficient matrix also called A by writing all the coefficients 10, 5, 3, 3, 6, 9, 7, 3, 2 as A. Next matrix B equals to all the numbers in the right hand side that is 31, 39, 20 and x represents the unknowns here the unknowns are x y and z which we have to find out next we will find out mod a also called determinant of a so it is very simple to find out the determinant first we will take this number 10 into this number into this number minus this number into this number so that is 10 into 6 into 2 minus 3 into 9 minus this number into this number into this number minus this number into this number that is given 5 into 3 into 2 minus 7 into 9 plus this number into this number into this number minus this number into this number so that is 3 into 3 into 3 minus 7 into 6 so it's 12 minus 27 that is minus 15 10 into minus 15 minus 5 into 6 minus 63 that is minus 57 and plus 3 into 9 minus minus 42 that is minus 33 so that is equals to minus 150 plus 285 minus 99 that is equals to 36 so determinant of this matrix A is plus 36 and remember uh, while finding the determinant we will take the first number as plus next number as minus and next number as plus and next minus plus and so on that is the alternating order of plus and minus. Next we will find out the adjoint A which is given by first we will write a matrix structure and then write plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus that is alternating order of plus and minus with a blank bracket and in that we will write the values which we will obtain by so for this location value what we will do since we are finding the first row value this is called row 1 row 2 row 3 and this is the first column column 1 column 2 and column 3 so while finding all the values in row 1 what we will do we will just cover the row 1 and next while finding the value in the column 1 we will also cover the column 1 so we are left with these two numbers so we are left with basically these four numbers so we will find out as 6 into 2 minus 3 into 9 that is 12 minus 27 that is minus 15 which I have written next we will also continue finding values for row 1 but this time we will find for column 2 so we will also guard the column 2 next we are left with 3 into 2 minus 7 into 9 that is minus 57 which I have written and for this value this time we will guard the column 3 so we are left with 3 into 3 minus 7 into 6 that is minus 33 next for this value this is row 2 and column 1 so 
will shift to row 2 and column 1. So we are left with 5 into 2 minus 3 into 3. That is plus 1. Plus 1. Next for this value, we will shift to column 2. So 10 into 2 minus 7 into 3. That is minus 1. And finally, this time 10 into 3 minus 7 into 5, that is minus 5. And for this value, now we have come to row 3 and column 1. So, 5 into 9 minus 6 into 3, that is plus 27. And for this value, In, 10 into 9 minus 3 into 3 that is plus 81 and for this value now you can say it will be 10 into 6 minus 3 into 5 that is plus 45 but this is not our adjointe to get the adjointe we have to do transpose of this matrix this T represents the transpose. So, by simplifying this, you will get minus 15 plus 57 minus 33 minus 1 and minus 1 and minus of minus 5 that is plus 5 plus 27 minus 81 and plus 45. And now we will transpose it. So, by transposing, what we will do? We will write the rows in column wise in the transpose matrix. So the row 1 is minus 15 plus 57 minus 33. We will write as column wise minus 15 plus 57 and minus 33. Next the row 2 will be the column 2. So minus 1 minus 1 and 5 minus 1 minus 1 and 5 and row 3 will be the column 3. So 27 minus 81 plus 45. So this is our actual adjoint A matrix. Next we will find out the adjoint A into our B matrix. B this into this you will get this matrix. How? I will tell you. So it is calculated as this number into this number plus this number into this number plus this number into this number. So that is equal to this number. Next this number into this number, this number into this number plus this number into this number that is equal to this number and this number into this number plus this number into this number plus this number into this number that is equal to this number let me show you one proof minus 15 into 31 plus minus 1 into 39 plus 27 into 20 that is equal to 36 our first number so we have got our adjoint A into B matrix this matrix so we know X or our unknown matrix equals to adjoint A into B this value divided by our mod A or determinant of A so our determinant was 36 so and adjoint A into B is this matrix divided by our determinant that is equal to 36 divided by 36 is 1 108 divided by 36 is 3 and 72 divided by 36 is 2 so this is our X or our matrix of unknowns which we have known so we can say X equals to 1 Y equals to 3 and J equals to 2 this is our required answer and now I will tell you instead of doing this long calculation for finding the answer if you have this calculator Casio FX 901 ES calculator you can directly solve the system of equations into the calculator how I will tell you first press the mode button and then press 5 for equation mode and press 2 for system of 3 linear equations and just enter the coefficients so coefficients are 10 
Observe the number here. Seven three two twenty. And just press the equals to button. It will give you x equals to one, y equals to three, and z equals to two. Isn't it cool? But hold on, there is another way for finding the answer. You can also solve the equations in the matrix mode. For that, press the mode and six for matrix. And let's enter the matrix A. There's a three cos three matrix. आज कौन है? Let's enter matrix B. There is a three into one matrix. And now, from this expression, we can say adjoint A divided by determinant of A is the A inverse or inverse of matrix A. And if we multiply inverse of matrix A by matrix B, then we will get the answer. Let's check it. So this is matrix A, and this is inverse of A into matrix B. And let's press the answer button. So it will give us the answer. That is one, three, and two. Isn't it cool? So friends, this was my video on how to solve a system of three line equations by adjoint method. I have many other videos on numerical methods. I think more than twenty-five videos over there, and more than twelve videos on this Casio FX and on ES scientific calculator and Casio FX 82 MS scientific calculator. How to use all the features of this calculator or that calculator also from mode one computational mode to mode eight vector mode. You can see I have uploaded videos on how to use all the modes of this calculator in details. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, please like it using the like button below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me. and get regular updates from me when i upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe and please share this video among your friends and family because sharing is caring so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing